Henry, an eight-year-old boy, wants to play outside. He's been cooped up inside all day, and the outdoors looks very inviting. The sun is shining and the sky is blue, making it the perfect day for outdoor play. He goes to ask his mom, but she says no. He lives near a landfill. According to wegreen-usa.org, over 10 kinds of toxic gases are released from landfills. This can be extremely detrimental to one's health. Wegreen-usa.org also states that people who live near landfills are more prone to get lung diseases and heart diseases from the toxic gases that are released. Why should our trash prevent kids from playing outside? Of the 500 million tons of waste that could be recycled each year, half of it is produced on flights. No airline provides clear information on how much waste they generate and how they're addressing it. This causes a buildup in our landfills. In this speech, we will first look at the problems with the lack of recycling, next the causes in this lack, and finally some simple solutions to the problem. First, let's look at the problems in this lack of recycling. Since there's not as much recycling, the landfills are getting built up more and more. As stated by wegreen-usa.org, there are over 10 types of toxic gases released from landfills, the most serious of which is methane. Methane is a more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Since the landfills are getting built up more and more, more methane keeps being released into the environment. Wegreen-usa.org also states that methane is naturally produced in the process of decaying matter. As, meth as methane gas is formed, it seeps into the soil as it builds up pressure. In a recent study of 288 landfills, methane had been detected on and around 83% of those. WeGreen-USA.org also states that it has been shown that people living near landfills get, can get lung and heart diseases from the toxic gases that are released from the landfill degradation. Also, there's a leakage of a large amount of toxins into our freshwater streams, lakes, and rivers. This water ultimately ends up as our drinking water and the water that we use for our everyday activity. The buildup in our landfills is caused by a lack of recycling. Let's take a closer look at where we're slacking off. The airports are not recycling. The average airline passenger produces 1.3 pounds of waste per flight. In order to put this in perspective, in 2008, there were 678 million airline passenger flights in the USA alone, gener generating over 881 million pounds of waste. 75% of this waste is recyclable, however, only 20% actually gets recycled. Of the 500 million tons of waste that could be recycled each year, half of it is produced on flights. None of the airlines have a program established in order to minimize or compost food waste. No airline provides clear information on just how much waste they generate. And NRDC.org states that at the rate of this generation, the 30 largest airports in the U.S. generate an amount of waste equal to the size of Miami. In order to change, we need a solution to this problem. There are several solutions, the first being the Air Transport Association and the International Air Transport Association should encourage all members of the leading airlines to set goals for recycling or composting that can lead to industry resource recovery. Each airline should reduce materials and packaging that is brought onto flights, thus reducing the overall waste. They can also set up label bins for the recycling that makes it easy for people to find. Each airline should work to provide cups, plates, utensils, and packaging that is recyclable or compostable. Also, you can do your part by recycling using reusable bottles and minimizing the amount of trash we produce. In this speech, you have learned that landfills are getting built up more and more, and this is releasing harmful toxins into the air. The causes of this are mostly found in the lack of recycling in airports. And lastly, we talked about some simple solutions to the problem. If you start recycling and the airports can change their recycling systems around, we can reduce the landfills bit by bit. This can ensure a healthy environment for a little kid to grow up in. And now, Henry will be able to play outside again, as will other kids, which was should, what should normally happen for a kid growing up, or growing up. Think about how much cleaner our air and water can be just by starting to recycle. Let's start living green, and together we can make a difference.